video's already done. Right. Hey, bye, bye. Alright, oh, oh, right. I just need you guys look up here because there's a lot of misconceptions you guys are making. So, the first thing, um, I'm seeing a lot of students, what are they doing? Remember guys, when you're solving for an inequality, your whole purpose is to get x equals something, right? Or x is less than or greater than, whatever. So your whole goal is to get x by itself, all right? So I'm seeing a lot of students who want to like add the x's over or stuff like that. Well, remember, we can't add, we can't add, there's no point adding the x's over to the other side. We have our x's on the same side, and that's good. That's what we want. So the main important thing I want you guys to think about this is, you guys are pretty familiar with like terms. If I said negative 3 plus 2, Right? And if you guys are just going to do this math, you could say, all right, well, I know the answer is going to be negative 1. Now, remember, when we were combining like terms, we if I said like 3x plus 2x all by itself, you guys understood that these are like kind of grouping terms. Well, this is going to equal a negative 1x or just negative x. All right? So your main important thing, guys, when we're solving, when you're doing multi-step, we're going to have distributive properties. We're going to have a variable on both sides. Our whole goal is to combine our variables into one. So I look at this and I say, all right, is there a way I can combine these two variables? I'm seeing a lot of people are like subtracting two on both sides or adding three on both sides. Remember, these are like your grouping terms. Think of this as, this is negative three times x. You cannot separate that multiplication. The other way I like to think about it is, you know, here we have like, pretend this is money, right? Here we say if you owe three dollars and you have two dollars in your pocket, after you pay somebody off, you still owe that person one dollar, right? Well, that's with like with pure money. What's wrong? Well, then here, now we're talking about rather than just owing three, but there's a certain type of three. You could say, well, how about you have like three apples, and then if you add two apples, well, then you owe three. You pay somebody off two. You're still going to owe them. You know that one apple. The main important thing also to remember is when you're looking at these two, so you can't separate that three. You can't be like subtract two from there because that means you know this two x means you know your two apples. It's combined with your x. So therefore, when I combine these two, I get a negative x is less than or equal to six. Then to get rid of my negative one, I need to divide by negative one. Therefore, x is now I go into flip my sign over there, okay? So I'm just going to work on that's how you solve when you have terms on the same side. Make sense? If you guys have your variables are the same, or if you have numbers, combine like terms, reduce first, okay?